Hello everyone. I am Professor Amit Solanki. Today we will start the next topic that is the control techniques or control strategies of the chopper. In that case, or in this topic, we will discuss what are the techniques, what are the methods for the controlling the output voltage by using the chopper. Okay, so average value of output voltage V0 can be controlled by D or we can say that a duty cycle by opening and closing the semiconductor switch periodically. Okay, so the various control techniques for varying duty cycle D are as follows. In that you can see here, that is one is time ratio control or we can say that in short form TRC second one is current limit control here we can say that CLC so these are the two different methods according to that we can control the chopper first let us consider the method that is a time ratio control or we can say that the TRC in this control scheme, the time ratio control T on by TT, that means total time period that is a T on by TT, as duty ratio or duty cycle is varied. Okay. So, what will happen in this time ratio control? In that, we can control the T on by T, that means T on by capital T, that means capital T is the total time period, which is T on plus T off. So we can vary the duty ratio or duty cycle. So T on by TT that means it is the formula for the duty cycle or duty ratio. This is realized in two different strategies called constant frequency system and variable frequency system. That means time ratio control method is also subdivided in two parts. One is constant frequency system and second one is variable frequency system. So let us understand the first method that is a constant frequency system. So in that constant frequency system, the T on that means on time is varied, but chopping frequency F or we can say that the chopping period is kept constant. So in that constant frequency system, there is only we can vary the T on time. Okay, we can vary the T on time. What will we vary? vary? We can vary the T on time. The variation of T on means adjustment of the pulse width. Okay, so already we have discussed the uh, different uh, formula that means uh, formula for the output voltage that is the duty cycle is the combination of T on upon total time period. So in that you can see here in that constant frequency system we can vary the T on. T on means we can vary the pulse. Okay. So in that figure, in that graph, you can observe here, this type of scheme is also called pulse width modulation scheme. Which method? Pulse width modulation scheme. So this type of constant frequency system is also known as pulse width modulation scheme. In that you can see here in this graph, this graph is plotted between with respect to output voltage and time. In that we have considered, we have taken some points, some parameters to how to control, how to vary the T on time. So in that first graph, you can see here, this is the T on time and this is the T off time and this is the total time period. Okay, so in that we vary the T on time, that means this is the pulse width. Okay, so that means in that this is the some one variation of the T on time. In that graph, there is also, we have varied the T on time. In this graph, you can see here the T on time from here. But in this graph, you can see here, we can vary, we can increase the T on time. So as it is in that case, the T off time is decreases. So the total time period is same, T on time and T off time. But we are in that part, we have increased the only T on time. So this type is called is pulse width modulation okay now second time ratio control method that is the 
variable frequency system in that variable frequency system in that type of control scheme the chopping frequency f or we can say that the chopping period b is varied and either on time is kept constant or off time is kept constant so this is a different from the constant variable system okay so, uh, sorry constant frequency system is different from the variable frequency system in case of constant frequency system we can vary only p on time okay but in case of variable frequency system what will happen in that on time is kept constant or off time is kept constant either on is constant either off is constant and this method of controlling duty cycle is called frequency modulation okay this type of method is called frequency modulation scheme so let us understand with the graph the what is the function of the variable frequency system in that you can see here we have variable frequency system but in case of constant frequency system we have vary the t on time okay but in case of variable frequency system we can keep constant t on or t off time so in that you can see here we have keep t on time okay in that graph you can see here the graph is plotted between v0 and with respect to time that is output voltage so in that figure you can observe that we have here keep t on time constant but t of time is vary in first figure you can see here this is the magnitude this is the width of t of time and in that second figure this is the width of the t of time so this is greater than this t of time okay so these are the all about the concept for the variable frequency system okay now we can see the difference between the time ratio control method as we know that time ratio control method is divided is also two part one is constant frequency system and variable frequency system or we can say that the pulse width modulation pwm via frequency modulation okay so in that you can see here what will happen in pulse width modulation the pulse width or t on time is varied while overall switching period is kept constant okay in that we have you can see here the overall concept about this pulse width modulation okay this is a v0 in that we have constant t on time as it is we have vary in that t on time in that we have vary the t on time so pulse width modulation we can vary the t on time okay as it is in case of frequency modulation in that pulse width t on is kept constant while the period frequency is varied okay so that is opposite from that in that pwm we have vary the t on time but in that fm we have constant the keep constant the t on time okay in that you can see here This is the V zero. These are the different figures. In that we can vary the. Here we have putting or keep the T on time. You can observe here. In that what will happen? The T on time is kept constant, and we can vary the T off time. In that first graph, you can observe that the T off time width is less as compared to this T off time. This is more. This is also greater than, and this is also. Large. So this is the variation of the t of time. Okay. So these are the basic difference between the pulse width modulation and frequency modulation. Now second technique that is the current limit control. In that we can also say that in the short form that is the CLC. As is obvious from its name, in this control scheme, a specific limit is applied on the current variation and in this method current is allowed to fluctuate or change only between two values that means maximum current i max and minimum current i minimum okay when the current is at minimum value the chopper is switched on 
that means when the current is at minimum value the chopper is switched on after this instant the current is start increasing and when it reaches up to maximum value the chopper is switch off allowing to allowing the current to fall back to minimum value okay so this is the all about the concept for the current limit control this cycle this cycle continues again and again so these are the in that figure you can see here this is current limit control in that diagram you can see here there is the output voltage t on and t off in that current limit control you can see here the current is increases up to limit maximum current it also reaches to the minimum current this is the continuous current or we can say that the output current so this is the concept of the current limit control okay so these are the all about the concept for the control strategy for the chopper so we can conclude that there are two methods one is time ratio control and second one is current limit control and we have observed that in the time ratio control there are also two methods one is uh, constant frequency system and second one is variable frequency system as it is current limit control that is one of the method so these are the all about the concept for the control techniques of the chopper thank you so much for watching this video